Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Sammy's Place. Today's video, I'm going to show you how a shower rack like this, if it gets rust on the tile behind it, I'm going to show you how to get the rust off of this also. So make sure you subscribe now, share this with a friend and like, and let's get to it. So I do have a metal or chrome type shower rack. And all I'm going to do is take a rag with hot to warm water and coconut oil. And all I do is just rub around where the rust is and the soap scum and the coconut oil will just blend it all off. So first step is to lay your towel down and put about a big chunky scoop of coconut oil onto the wet, hot, or warm rag. So you wanna be generous with the coconut oil. It may be a little messy job, but just go ahead and apply the coconut oil to all the soap scum and all the rust. It's best to avoid using a brush or an old toothbrush on a steel rack like this because it can tarnish more quickly. So the rag or your glove is the best option. Now it's best if you use a glove for this because remember this is a shower rack. It was in your shower and that's where you go to get clean. So sometimes the germs in your shower do splash on it. So just use a glove and the coconut oil is very gross so the glove helps. And you're just going to continue wiping hot rag with coconut oil only. It will get rid of the soap scum and it gets rid of the rust. And nice and tenderly back and forth motions with your hot rag and it will soon start to lift off. Again, do not use a brush or any kind of scoring on a thing like this because it will tarnish faster and give you even more rust. The coconut oil does stick on the metal so when I rinse my rag with hot water I go at it again but I don't add any more coconut oil. I just continue to wipe around the coconut oil that I applied the first time. As you can start to see that it's starting to look like it's brand new, the soap scum and the rust stains are all gone. So now you're gonna flip it over and do the same on the bottom. So this is how it's looking now. There is still some soap scum along the bar here, but the rust and the soap scum that was on the shelves is completely gone. And just look and finish up the little touches where you see more soap or rust. These things are very inconvenient to hold. So you just hold it as tight as you can and scrub as much as you can, circular and back and forth motions on repeat again and again holding it steady as you can to get a good scrub this method could be very time consuming and you may have to get the rag rinsed and wet maybe once or twice the wetter the better so all i do is just add more water and it will really get that soap scum right off
so as you can see here on my tile where the curves there's left ring stains so you get them off just the same but with a few different products you want to take a generous amount but not too much and you just want to go ahead and massage the coconut oil into the rust stain and repeat the same step on any other rust stains on your wall or tile. And again, you're gonna leave it for two minutes. Make sure that the coconut oil is spread onto the rust and like pat it in the area before you leave it for two minutes. The next step is to take witch hazel and just blot it in. I usually put the witch hazel on a tissue because I feel like it sticks better that way and just go ahead and pat it on top of the coconut oil and this is going to be 100% witch hazel cleanser. As you're going to notice the witch hazel does not remove the coconut oil it just kind of smears it around, makes it real shiny, like a base. So you just want to keep giving in the grunt work to the witch hazel on top of the coconut oil, circular motions, and scrub. You can see that the rust is lifting, but we still have a little bit here. So just continue the rust wiping with the witch hazel tissue. The next step is to get a dry brush. I would not recommend like a harsh, harsh brush because you can scratch your tile. So just like a toilet brush would be fine. Make sure it's dry and go over it. The coconut oil and the witch hazel, circular motions, blending them together. The next step is to take a full strength nail polish remover, but only on the rust. Don't use the polish remover excessively on the other tiles, as it may cause discoloration. You just want to put the nail polish remover on a towel tissue and blot and rub just the rust stains. Just use nail polish remover for these tiles only. Do not use it on the steel shower rack. Once you've wiped in circles with nail polish remover, take a wet rag and go ahead and follow again the same areas where the rust was. It should be about gone at this time. Also, if you clean the shower rack and the sink, now's a good time to get it all cleaned. Once the rust stains are lifted, dry your shower rack completely, dry your tile completely, and hang it back into place. Make sure it's suctioned on before you add your products. Once it's back onto the faucet or the wall itself, go ahead and make sure it's secure again and you're going to take a hot soapy rag which is a regular cleanser that is um, all-purpose you don't want to use anything harsh like bleach or 
or um, spick and span or anything you want to make sure it's all purpose or all surface cleaner and give it another wipe down while it's on the wall getting rid of all the soap scum as well once the shower rack is completely dry and the wall is completely dry you can start adding your products and I recommend them that you wipe them down as well as far as shampoos, conditioners, body washes. Make sure everything is wiped down and then put back into the shelf organized. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sammy's Place and I'll see you guys again soon. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.